Hey, God bless you. This is Pastor Denova from Faith Music and Movies, faith.org, F triple A I T H dot O R G. I'm going to keep this brief, but I wanted to talk a little bit as a conscious Christian and to take back the opportunity that humanity, which I like to call triune human beings, which is spirit, temple, soul, is really what we are. We have to look at ourselves as what we are. When we look at ourselves any, any way different, then we're not including not only all of the functions that make us uh, a total being, but also different players which exist, uh, which are also um, big time uh, affecting uh, the direction that we are, are going, our directional path. This works through a system uh, that's called um, computer summing technology. CST and it's uh, essentially a algorithm it's an algorithm which is in the air and the air is used like a conduit and it transmits in different ways to different people groups and it uses our history in order to perpetuate what's called an impulse in our system. Very, very generic, very simple, very effective. And it's how outside parties actually have a sense of authorship over different stories, which we call current scenarios which are the people, places, and things that are the context for a particular storyline. Things like 9-11, things like the United States rioting, things like the Russian-Ukraine war, things like COVID, and any one of these um, storylines are being hosted. And a host is the director, the producer. It's the impulse which varies within a particular group of people, places, and things. And then this is captured in an outlet like the news and then it's distributed in order to infect or influence the rest of the people group on planet earth the world is hosted by two sides and one side is god and the other side are angels that fell from God's country and have utilized a system called CST, Computer sum, uh, Summing Technology, in order to impale its authority into the likelihood of the decisions that normal people make. Right now, the reason that I'm talking to you about this is because this is the actual job of Christians, is to remind people of this truth. The job of Christians is not to be some kind of a um, sympathetic 
um, sort of a Santa Claus that's not the job of a Christian. The job of a Christian is to activate a level of defensiveness and alert whenever an exterior influence outside of God is contaminating through influence the general public. That is what the job of a Christian is. And we hear a lot of different mass communication news that is apportioned to the different geopolitical powers that exist on earth. And then this is received and, and like on an inbox and then it's categorized and then that particular disposition is held sometimes accountable. And I want to talk about this Chinese spy current scenario. This is a this is a story that's being brought not by the Chinese or by the Americans. This is being brought by fallen angels uh, that are first of all the group of intelligent beings that sit down and come up with storylines which they then use CST. It's a technology. It's not um, some kind of a... Um, they don't sit there with their mind and kind of use a power to transfer this influence into people. Not quite. They use some kind of a range delivery system which seems to be some kind of a reversal input and this seems to sum or average out the likeliness of remain of remaining hidden while at the same time dripping their sort of big picture idea which is um, very explicitly de de uh, detailed in the Bible from the beginning basically to the end um, of the Bible. I read the King James Bible myself. I recommend that, that version. The balloon is a counter operation which deals with frequency as secret societies know it. And essentially, when a particular vibration is placed upon matter, matter objects into a shape. This shape is symmetrical. This mesmerizes the ones that are doing it because as they see it, they think that this has to be some kind of of God power and they don't ever consider the fact that what they're actually doing is dealing with a submitted God and what this really means is that as these um, people are um, using technology to send a vibration into matter, they are causing the shape of God to be organized in a pattern which they then are able to read and register in a trail of information which gives them an authority over people that never think in that type of technology or that type of research. And the surrounding reality that you see 
is actually the body of God. Everything is the body of God. God is not outside of his creation. God is his creation. Now, these mysterious thoughts that come from these philosophers and these inventors, these great minds of humanity have become the authors of a discovery. But all they're doing is finding ways to measure God's body and the way it reacts to certain pressures or vibrations or temperatures, what have you. And what ends up happening is that when this cause is affected into the environment, it is then registered to the individual and that person has to make a decision. Did I discover this? Am I an authority on this subject? As that happens, the group of fallen angels that know that this is actually God's body will instill a form of mesmerization in very intelligent people, uh, which will then dictate to them that this comes from some mystery that we're not going to go into right now, but reverts back to the mystery schools or theosophy or this hidden agenda, which has been perpetrating film and music and finances. The globe is completely contaminated by this God presence, which is just the moment when a very intelligent people makes a discovery then this sensibility enters the person and they have to walk into what what am i now and as that happens then they discover what satan and his group of fallen angels have already authored little by little in the history of man and so god is the real god is always contradicting this but it's difficult for people to receive so much information and they're just kind of excited about what their discovery is. The problem here is that the enemy, Satan, has saturated at a level. He has, he has inundated so much of this counter opinion to what reality is, that the world has fallen asleep. People don't understand what they're looking at when they're looking at symmetrical shapes. And you can tell by the, le the level of bullshit that we see spun on Discovery Channel, on YouTube, on Facebook, if it's not a UFO, it's the Loch Ness Monster. If it's not a Loch Ness Monster, it's the Giants. It's the Nephilim. It's Atlantis. Bullshit. And people don't understand that these are just storylines to mesmerize very intelligent people to give them a covering. Okay, well, if I discovered this, I must be part of this group. So this Chinese balloon is a counter operation because my particular ministry we call it in church i call it a company i'm a company i'm a christian concept company has begun telling talking to people like this and as you can tell it makes perfect sense once you hear it but if you never hear it you're constantly influenced by everything else everybody is saying and it sounds very exotic what people what other people talk about but when you know for sure all we're talking about here is Jesus 
and Satan and how they use their actual strategies, then you start settling down and you should be very fearful. Now, because people don't understand this is happening for the majority. And so when I discovered, and I when I say I discovered, I will tell you that God, Satan exists, but God exists. And God can help people that are just average intelligence like myself stand back, not be very uh, amused by what the world is doing, and look for the, si the signal of God, and look if this is the enemy, if this is Satan. And I do it so often that I was able to to categorize certain parts of reality that now are becoming more and more easy for me to tell what hand it is, maybe not immediately sometimes, but as you stand back and you see what the effect is, you do, there's no doubt about it, you, you do see that it's a counter operation. For instance, Trump, and then all the chaos that led to COVID was to counter operate against what Trump represented, which Trump is an imperfect man, just like me, just like everybody. But he was a sort of uh, a platform that was friendly to Christians, to Protestant Christians. And the real difference in this world is Protestant Christians and everybody else. That's the real difference. So when we see this Chinese balloon, it is a counter operation, and we're ending here, it is a counter operation to work with the imagination of humanity. The reason is because what your friend here, Pastor DeNova, was telling the public is that there is CST and that we as, as people have to stop thinking that Satan is kind of like this, this, uh, this beast or this monster that's kind of infecting people or possessing people and then at a level that's here on earth because that's not what's happening. What's happening is that somewhere in, the, in space or in the heavenlies, there seems to be some kind of a, I would call it a satellite, some kind of a, of, a, of a send and receiving signal that is constantly scanning the entire earth at a level which is beyond our technology. And it is doing it in the air. It's using the air as a conduit. And when we try to address it, 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 it disappears. It's hard to tell, but then it comes again and then it goes and then it comes. So it's, it's kind of shoving people in a direction and then lets people take the blame and then gets out of the way. But the reason it's shoving people in a direction is because somebody's waking up. And so our ministry, my ministry, in Jesus' name, started talking about uh, uh, computerized summing technology, which seems to be some kind of a, some kind of a satellite system, but... This is not the Chinese, you know, this is not the Russians, this is not the United States. This is an exterior country outside of Earth, which is controlling the impulse registry of triune human beings, spirit, temple, soul, in the way that we really are, in order to get its way with us. And this is something tangible. It's somewhere and it's hidden in Atlantis, in Nibiru, in the UFO conspiracy. It's hidden in arguments, in racism. It's hidden in um, sexophobia, in drug addiction. It's hidden in there. And because we're dealing with all of these different actual shoves, which this system caused, it's causing, it's kind of holding us down where we're not able to become conscious. I'm a conscious Christian. And so the reason I'm making this video is to counter 
react to the counter operation which Satan and his angels needed to do in order to counter when I was waking people up about the fact that CSTs exist. And so if you go back in history, you'll see that just recently, maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe three months ago, you'll start to see that we began to say, wait a minute, these, are, these effects that are happening to people don't seem uh, to be demons all the time inside of people. This seems to be an exterior presence. How does this work? And then when we stopped all of the fairy tale um, that we learned from things like, like Walt Disney, that we learned from things like Universal Studios, that we learned from like Marvel Studios, that when we shut that down for a second and we go to the Word of God, we go to the Bible, now we're able to be, read the book of Job, read the book of Ezekiel, read the book of Daniel, he listened to Jesus and his parables and the way his demeanor is, and we read the book of, of Revelations, now we start to say, wait a minute, this is some kind of an influence which has the majority of people um, underwater when it comes to the actual air. They can't tell where land is. They're, they're kind of being pushed underneath real information. And when that happened, um, I'll tell you, there was a tremendous peace inside. And for people who gather that, they're like, wait a minute. Okay, so that explains why my children are going through this, why my husband is going through this, why my wife, why my politicians are going through this, why, um, you know, why there's war, why there's strife. And once we know what is going on as far as strife, then we can isolate why would God do this or why would Satan do this? And then we separate the real, the real host, the real powers behind mankind. And when that happened, when you're conscious of that, that's when the enemy came uh, recently because he uses these big storylines in order to, to kind of um, liquidate what I was talking about, what people are trying to inform other people to be careful. And so this balloon uh, essentially is a counter operation. Even though I'm just a, a simple man um, that's telling you a very crucial point of information, um, remember that God used very simple people to contradict empires because people were so loaded up with this, this technology by Satan that nobody could tell. So he used the people that could tell, King David. You know, uh, we see the book of Job. We see that his friends couldn't tell, and there were doctors and lawyers. Um, we see people like Peter that are with Jesus, and all of a sudden they get like very impulsive, and Jesus tells them what they is what they are, what's in them. Jesus always says, I know what's in you. Well, what's in you is that impulse receptor, which is in the air and then causes a particular storyline. And so this balloon, to finish here, is essentially just that. And we should not be blah, 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 giving this thing life without asking the question, who sent this? Let's, let's forget about the Chinese who are great people. Let's forget about the U.S. military who are great people. Okay? Um, you know, we share the economy. You know, we're not stupid. We're not going to lower our guard to anybody. But it's China. Come on. You know, it, it's, it's the United States. You know, what's, what's, why? You know, I think this makes more sense than anything else. So this balloon is supposedly the focal point of what CST is. You see, it's a technology which reads not only the United States, but the entire world, the globe. And then it reacts in a way to perpetuate the new age. That's essentially what it is, as it's referred to in the book of Apocalypse or Revelations, I would read the King James Bible. So... That's what's happening. 
And my effort as a Christian is to be an activist and contradict the lie because that's what a Christian represents is to yell it from the rooftop, to hold down your seed of faith. And I'll finish here. Christians, Protestants, your focus should not be, not today, and maybe at some other point, maybe sometimes, it should not be a routine to go to church. You need to go to church. You need to bless your pastors. We need that house. We need that temple. The number one, and I'll end here, this is Pastor the Nova from Faith Music and Movies from Conscious Culture Now, F-A-A-I-T-H dot O-R-G. Don't forget to hit that like button right there and subscribe. I'll say that like everybody else. But the number one thing that a Christian should be doing today is business, okay, is to take part of the economy so that we can fund ourselves outside of what this Satan and his group using this computerized summing technology has put in front of us as our only option. You see, if people will say, well, why are Christians getting into business? That's why, because we don't have a piece of the pie. If you don't have anywhere to go to, you're going to go right and get your mark, the 666, and you don't have no other choice. That's why Revelation 13 talks about why this thing forces the mark. It already started. Okay, there is no Christian bank. There is no Christian fund. If I, as a small business developer, want to get money, I'm going to go to where everybody else goes, where it's pagan and secular societies. That's a different conversation, very important conversation as well. But I'm going to leave it at that. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I always do that for my children. Carlos, Axel, and Wendelin. I love you. We went through a CST that was hosted by the enemy. And our family got destroyed, got ruined. And I was like, what is going on around me? As I became a Christian, a vocal Christian, all of this torment started to show up individually. Well, it wasn't that we were loaded up with demons. It's a computer in the air which drives impulse, which makes people rebel and divide. That's what happened. So I love you, and I would never abandon you. Uh, and I hope one day that this becomes more clear. I hope, I pray that I become financially blessed so I can support you in a way that you would get a covering. And at that rate, you can see for yourself that there are impulses in the air and that you have to separate yourself from Satan's influence in order to see people for what they are in Jesus' name. So let's do a short prayer of repentance because I am a pastor. I'm an ordained Pentecostal pastor. And then we're going to shut this off with the Holy Ghost talking just like, you know, some presidents have been documented as going and, you know, going by the fortune teller and, you know, getting information. And then they drive the, the, the country in a certain way. We know that that happened. Um, well, the Holy Ghost lives in people. For a good reason. If the Holy Ghost don't live inside people, how can people make sense? Or how can they move out of the way when this massive conglomerate impulse delivery system is moving people at, at its own will? It only makes sense. The Bible makes sense. So when you know what's really going on here tangibly, not all this, you know, angels and all of this light, then shut up. What does this mean? You know, what does this mean in matter? What's going on here? Who are these people? When you really believe, you got to make sense. Where are they? What's going on? How is this? Now you're getting it. So say this, I repent in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't even have to close your eyes. You need to vocalize it. You need to say, I repent in the name of Jesus Christ. And I receive Jesus in my heart that he may wash away my sin and help me, Holy Ghost, inside to start making decisions for my life where I don't fall victim to this zombophobia that people are carrying with, even though some of these people will die and will not go to hell, but they are being used like pawns in the game, like the good book. 
says these people are being used like pawns in the game to drive a particular storyline. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. This is your boy, Pastor Danova, sometimes called Danova Jehovah's Soldier, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I encourage all of the civil servants out there to understand what CST is, to follow me, to ask me questions, uh, to pray and ask the Holy Ghost, what is he talking about? Let me look at the King James Bible like what it really is telling me. And when you do that and you get all these influences start coming in, you say, wait, stop, wait, stop. Or if I talk to you, I receive that you're a person, but I don't receive your influence. I have enough girth in my faith, in my Christian faith, to be like, yeah, I'm talking to a Native American. I'm talking to a communist. I'm talking to a lesbian. I'm talking to a drug addict. I'm talking to, to, to whoever, to another, a different religion, to a pagan, and I see you. But, you know, as far as your, 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 what you're talking about, they don't, there's not enough substance there. As a Christian, I already have my girth inside. And I, I'm, not a, I'm not like a little, the tip of a little candle. That, you can blow me out. Not really. You know, Jesus, I'll end here. Jesus says, it's not what comes in. It's what comes out. And as, as civil servants, as people who are responsible for people groups, um, and the Bible says you're responsible, you better understand that this is happening. And you better start to understand that if you get on the train of truth, that you, people are going to like you. There might, be a, there might be a moment where there's a flash, I'll tell you that much, because the enemy is a, the, the, the system, the automation around us, um, is set to defend itself. So get ready. I mean, if you don't believe me, ask Trump. He's been defending himself ever since what? Ever since he tried to do right. So ask him. I mean, you see, and we love that man. We pray for that man, and we know that man's imperfect. But we pray the blood and the authority of Jesus Christ all over him and his family. And guys, Republicans, get out of the way. He's got. He's still the president. Get him in power. Let him finish what he was going to do in Jesus' name. Watch out for him. Pray for him. You know, that has an effect on the shape, on the symmetry of our surroundings too. Pray for him. Don't we, we all have our turns. We got tons of people, Democrats, we love you. Be careful because you've been infected by this sensibility, all right, of trying to be this sort of uh, door for people who are, who've been minimalized. But some of what you're saying is correct. Some of what the Republicans are saying is correct. Fact is this. If you're not including these hidden powers, God, Satan, and this technology, CST in the air, stop the horses to get off the train and say, wait a minute, let me go and look at, let me see what this means legally. Let me see what this means spiritually. Let me talk to Pastor Denova. Let, who's talking about this? And guess what, people? Nobody. Uh, nobody. I haven't seen nobody talking about CSTs. The first person I see talking about CSTs is Satan. And he, he brought it in this big Chinese balloon, which is dangerous. It can cause another flare-up on top of another three or four flare-ups we've had. So we'll never get on our feet. We'll never catch our balance. So wake up. Order out of chaos. Who says that? It ain't Christians. So if you're saying that, you're not a Christian. So wakey-te-wakey -wakey in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to shut my mouth, but I'm going to tell you that I love you with no sympathy, no empathy, but with spiritual discernment discernment to separate the two and have the the faith and the courage to choose who I'm with no matter what I see around me and represent that to me and my community politicians both sides I invite you to do the same thing stop the show and re-register re yourself see what's going on in Jesus name I'm going to shut my mouth and like I told you like I promise I'm going to let the Holy Ghost that lives inside I'm not ashamed Okay, I'm going to let the Holy Ghost inside. I speak in tongues. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. You're in the body of God. If you get all these scientists, me, 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 they're talking about frequencies, and they're, they're making these snowflakes. Now they're making this tree trunk over here, and they're over here talking in tongues. I mean, it sounds like gibberish to me, doesn't it? And they're seeing this, and they're telling people, the Holy Ghost inside of me. It doesn't make any sense to the ear, but it makes sense to the faith. And this must feel good for God. 
because I'm taking a chance on God. I'm openly speaking in tongues. Ra ma si tirili mi. Ra. It's like a cup of cold water for God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now it feels good to God. Now we're not manipulating his body in order to control other people. Now we're in line with his real order because God is a God of order. That's why it is symmetric. So I'm going to shut my big mouth and I'm going to ask the Holy Ghost right now to take over this stage here and to talk to you uh, directly about what he sees about this Chinese balloon and about what he can tell to politicians or any community leader out there, any pastor, any politician out there. Let's, uh, let's, let's um, listen right now. And I will tell you again, go to faith.org, F-A-A-I-T-H dot O-R-G. Like, subscribe, and help me fund this. Because believe it, there ain't no money out there trying to support me. Uh, they're trying to shut me down. So I need funding in order to use this uh, great concept, which is developed from just a small, tiny little seed. Chicago boy now living in Florida. Um... To, in order to, to, to give people an opportunity to be who they really are without the influence. Who would have thought? Huh? So, hallelujah, I'm going to shut my mouth and I'm going to let the Holy, the Holy Ghost in Jesus Christ's mighty name speak to you right now. That's right, people. Faith.org, F-A-A-A-I-T-H dot O-R-G. It's where it's at. It's the flashbang to break down mesmerization. The same mesmerization that brought down the Trump campaign. The same mesmerization that brought down the Giuliani campaign. The same mesmerization that brought down Hillary Clinton. The same mesmerization that infected sexophobes people getting high, this violent spirit that exists all over the world that's setting up sudden urge to decapitate Protestant Christians, which is coming. Right now, this man is doing everything he can to fund his project, but he's locked. CST, controlled by my creation, says the Holy Ghost, the devil, you call him the devil, Lucifer, what have you, is a smart person and uses a calculator in order to dictate your storyline. And if you don't agree, he'll chastise you. This man right here, if you're a real politician, if you're really for the community, back him up. Give him a stage. Give him an interview. Give him a dollar. Give him $1,000. He's going to use it because I've trained him personally, like Moses, like Abraham, like Lot, to separate himself from all the bullshit, says, all, says the Holy Ghost, says the great I am. And the reason I use that word is for people who are real, who people who think that Christianity it is a religion, even though it is. Don't get it twisted about what he's trying to tell you because it's true. And the truth will set you free. Last thing. This Chinese balloon is a scam. I'm going to use it to bring peace to Ukraine and Russia. Why? Because I'm showing Putin and the president of Ukraine that there can be peace even though there's feet touching of two different powers. But Satan developed it in order to contradict CST, a very, very critical place to think in every triune human being's forefront frontal lobe in order to contradict the power in the air.